All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Sims 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are going to be having a look at two fun age-related mods that I found online recently. Now the first one we are going to be having a gander at is the Set Age Cheat Mod by Twisted Mexi who uh, made one of the mods we looked at last week so I'm looking forward to what else he does in the future. And well, the Set Age Cheat Mod allows you to take any sim in your household and, well, set their age to whatever it is that you like, whether it be child to elderly, adult, whatever. So what I've done here is I have set up a household with six people in it, with uh, representing all the various age groups. So if we head down to the living room here, where we have uh, three of those age groups, and head back into the uh, regular game camera to have a look at our elderly grandmother and use the cheat console command, the of course control shift C, to put in a command for the cheat tm.setAge. And by default, if that's all you put in, it will make that character into an adult. Uh, that is the default, but if we do the command again and reset the age to a different one, say, oh, I don't know, child, then bam, our elderly grandmother is now a tiny, tiny little child. And this gets a little bit weird, of course, because when you're switching between major ages, like child, elderly, uh, it'll have to completely randomize their look, their hair, their body size, all of that sort of stuff, even when you head back to the original age. It's a little weird, but eh, it's a game limitation. And we can see that again if we head on upstairs to our teen that we have in the household, and if we type in this time to make him an adult, eh, you'll notice not really much of a change there, because, well, he is going from a teen to an adult. Not a whole lot of physical difference. And if we switch him back to a teen, uh, you'll notice the same thing. Because, of course, teen to adult. But if we change him again to something a bit more drastic, like from teen to elder, well, you'll notice a bit bigger of a change and of course same thing if you go down to child now even when you change their ages they are still the same person same name same aspirations all of that crap so you are good to go and you can change any member of your family but what's even more fun is it's not limited to just your family you can change the age of any sim in the world. Take, for instance, this random woman we are talking to here on the road. So if we pause and head on down, and uh, it is a Nancy Landgrab, and I'm assuming she's either a young adult or adult. Uh, well, one of the two, obviously. And if we change her to an elder by typing in the command, then elder, and then her full name into the cheat console, you can then change her to an elder. And of course, use the same thing to change her to whatever age it is that you like. And this is my favorite part about this mod because I've run into in some of my longer games that I've personally played, I've ran into issues that eventually down the road, when you've had long generational families, etc., you start getting somewhat empty of towns, elders are all that's around. It gets a little weird when your teen moves out of his house and buy his first home and everyone in his neighborhood is an elderly person because, well, that's how the game aged them all. So, you know, you can use this command to change the people in your neighborhood back to a, a normal, vibrant adulthood. And it's, it's quite nice, it's quite fun, but that is uh, gonna be it for that mod. So, if we head on over, to the next mod in question, which is the teen careers for all ages made by Plastic Box. And what this allows you to do is take the different jobs available to just teenagers in the game and allow any other sim to do it. So if we take our teenager character again, and uh, head on to the computer where he will take a look at the job listings, you'll see all the teenage careers that are available. Of course, the babysitter, the retail employee, the always, always painful manual laborer, been there, done that, hopefully never again, and of course, the typical fast food employee and barista. And what this mod allows you to do is, well, normally, those careers are just locked to your teenager. But what if you're role-playing the game or have a generational family that maybe the elderly 
person in the family, for instance, needs a little extra cash on the side, needs a weekend job. So if we take our elder from this household and have her search for a job on the computer, uh, when that pops up, we will notice that not just are all the other adult careers available to her, but also the teenager ones. So she could become a retail employee or have a grandmother doing manual labor. It's all good and fun. And I, I really, really love this mod because it gives you more choices. I mean, why lock adults out of somewhat, I don't want to say menial jobs because, hey, someone's got to do those jobs, but why lock adults out of those? Uh, why only limit it to the teens? And so with this mod, you can have your elderly grandmother's mother, say, be a babysitter. And of course, it doesn't just work with elders. We're testing out things on this mod here, so let's go and have a little chat with the father of the household and have him check the job listings. And of course, he has all of the same options available to him as well. So, uh, you know, why not make him a manual laborer? It'll give him a nice job to do during the weekdays, even though for very few hours and very little pay. And of course, the mother of the household can check her phone as well to take a look at the job listings and, uh, you know, go and do one of these other part-time jobs, perhaps fast food employee, or, you know, just give her a weekend job as a barista. It's all good. Now, the reason I really love this mod personally is I'm a role player. I love actually having my Sims play their roles, not just meta the Sims. I mean, that's kind of boring to me. So why? Why not have a, your, your elderly grandmother have a weekend job? Maybe her nest egg d wasn't as good as she had hoped and she needs a little extra cash on the side. It's a fun addition to the game that makes it feel more alive and vibrant. So if you like to RP or like generational games, it's a good fit. And of course, I hope you check out these mods. Links, as always, in the description. And of course, I hope you enjoy this episode and come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.